Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to my Roxio GameCap Best Video Quality Settings Guide. What you're seeing right now is how the capture card will capture right out of the box in its absolute most basic default settings while I derp around here on the dashboard. The default settings I'm not such a big fan of, but after I took the time to tweak the settings, they became much, much nicer looking. I'm just kind of derping around in the dashboard. I'm going to move over to my uh, settings tab here in just a second. If that will go on over to the settings, there we are. Once you're in settings, you want to go down to system. Once you're in the system, you want to go to console settings. In console settings, you want to choose display. Inside display, you want to go to screen format and set your Xbox into widescreen mode. You'll want to do the same for a PS3, make sure it's in widescreen. Then go up to your HDTV settings and put it in 720p so that you get nice, crisp, clean 720p to your TV and 720p into the capture card for higher resolution than the 480p, which uh, it's a little bit complicated, but that's the way to do it. PS3 works the same way. You want it in widescreen 720p. And for the rest of this tutorial, we're moving over to Modern Warfare 3. The gameplay that you're going to see here is the lesser of two Scorpion-only gameplays on Dome. I played two pretty good games with Scorpions only on Dome. This one just wasn't as good as the other game. You'll see the other game here in a few days in a different but uh, somewhat related video, but this one will do for the tutorial purposes. The get the file type that you're watching right now is the default file type on the Roxio, the one that it wants you to record in when you first boot it up, which is DivX at 848 by 480 which is the highest resolution that the capture card supports, but for some reason the DivX code codec doesn't really uh, compress video very well. You get some weird blocky things going on on occasion, and I really don't like the color balance on this one. So what you're going to want to do is actually change this to AVI, which I feel has a much better compression and color balance, even though the resolution isn't honestly as good. And let's take a look at how to do that. In your capture window, in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see this little area here that says Source, Roxio Game Cap, Capture, Settings, and it'll say DivX. You just click on the down arrow and drop that down to where it says AVI. Make it look just like mine, and you're going to be good to go. Now let's swap back to the video, and we're going to change this to the AVI that I captured in 3, 2, 1, Swap. Most of you are going to notice right away that the color has improved significantly. Some of you are going to notice that the overall crispness of the characters and the fluidity of the motion has improved. A lot of the blockiness has gone away. Though even less of you are going to notice that the resolution has changed. This unfortunately only records in 720 by 480 instead of the true 480p at uh, 848 by 480 Though I find the compression here and the overall color uh, retention to be much, much better. So I'm, I'm going to be going with AVI for now. If you guys find, find a way around that compression, with the uh, DivX, be sure to let me know, but right now I'm recommending AVI is the best way to record. But this is by no means perfect. If you take a minute to look, you'll notice that the edges are a little bit rough, that the colors are a little bit off, it's not quite perfect, and this was kind of frustrating. But then I noticed that the Roxio actually had a built-in color corrector and balance and contrast and all that sort of stuff. So let's take a quick look at how to change these settings to get the absolute best quality out of AVI, mostly when it comes to colors and a little bit when it comes the smoothness. All right, now we've moved over to the capture window again, and what you guys want to do is click on that weird little thing that looks like half of a sun over there next to the eye, and it'll pop up this menu that has brightness, hue, sharpness, contrast, and saturation. I have set my brightness on 108, which is a little bit less than normal, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but I found that the default settings were just too bright. The hue I didn't touch, the sharpness I actually turned down to zero, because I found the more I increase the sharpness, the worse the picture quality got, and especially when this gets rendered and smoothed a little bit you don't want any sharpness you want it to be smooth and fluid so I just turn the sharpness down the contrast I think I left alone and the saturation I turned up just a little bit above average to 36 in order to make the colors pop just a little bit more because I know that when I render the video it's gonna damage the colors a bit so I'm gonna make a little overboard on the color we are back in gameplay land right now and this is without the color balance we're gonna swap over to my color sharpness contrast brightness all those kind of settings in three two one swap. Again, you should notice right away that the colors are now much punchier. They're a little bit darker than before. That's because I turned the brightness down, but the colors are more saturated, more real feeling. And I also did this with some consideration that when I render this into different video formats, it's going to bleach the colors a little bit. When I put it on YouTube, that's another step of bleaching. So what I'm looking at right now in my preview window is very thick, thick, rich colors. What I'm expecting by the time this is all processed and uploaded to YouTube is the colors to have been bleached down a little bit 
bit until they are almost perfectly normal or one to one with the game to get the best colors possible. This is the same process that I use on my HD PVR videos. And this right here, what you're looking at, is what I think is the absolute best settings for the Roxio Game Cap Capture Card. And for comparison, I'm going to swap back over and put on the left side of the screen the original default settings for the uh, Roxio Game Cap. And on the right side of the screen is going to be my preferred settings in three, two, one split. As you can now see, the right side of the screen looks much, much better than the left side of the screen. The left side of the screen is the raw default untouched uh, DivX settings. The right side of the screen is my AVI with all of the uh, color correctors built into it. You'll notice that the right side is much more appealing. It's much smoother looking. It looks much more like a normal gameplay. The left side looks kind of bleached, kind of blocky. One good thing about the left side, like I've said earlier, is that the overall resolution is higher. You can see this if you take a very close look at the numbers down there by winning and compare those with the numbers and the perks on the right. That's because the left side does 848 by 480 and the right side is 720 by 480. You're going to notice that this video is rendered into 720p even though the gameplay is 480p and that's because uh, your render settings are the most important settings about the video. You can't take a 480p video and stretch it out to 720p and have it be actual true 720p but it will prevent any sort of uh, encryption loss or blockiness or re-rendering loss so it never hurts to re-render just a little bit higher than your base video because after YouTube is done processing it and it's downscaled seven different times to do 240p, 360p, 480p on YouTube, you don't want to have any losses. So I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and render this into 720p Windows Media Video. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're kind of like me and you just want the raw video and it's maximum size, you don't want to stretch it, you don't want any bigger file sizes that has a setting for 848 by 480 DivX, which you can also render into, let's uh, go ahead and pause this gameplay and take a look at where that is. Getting to the render settings is a little bit different than what I'm used to in Sony Vegas. What you want to do is come up to your toolbar and click Outport, then click Export As. After you've clicked Export As, this box is going to pop up and say, do you want to save the changes you've made to Production 1? You're going to click No. What happens if you click Yes is you're just going to save this as a video project file. You don't want to do that. You want to click No, because then it's going to be like, oh, he wants to render this into a video. When you do this, there are two options that you want to choose from that second drop-down menu, menu where it says Video File Quality. If you want the video in its uh, maximum resolution without stretching anything, just one-to-one -one perfect, you choose DivX Home Theater 848 by 480 and then you can go ahead and click Create Video down there. If you want to go 720p, the best render settings that you've got are Windows Media Video 9, which is the best coding around I, I think I can't I don't know how many codecs there are of this anymore and you want 1280 by 720 variable bitrate that's 720p a lot of commentators do render into this setting bear in mind that's not actually going to make your video 720p it's going to stretch it out into 720p and that's what I recommend doing it uh, because when you think about it you're going to stretch it into 720p, but you're going to maintain perfect pixel-to-pixel -pixel ratios. You're not going to have to worry about any of the compression in the lower file sizes over here. And then you're going to hand it to YouTube, and they're going to rape it and molest it and knock it on down file sizes. So you'll probably get the best overall quality rendering over here in 720p. But even when people click 720p, it's just going to be stretched 480, so bear that in mind. And we're back to the gameplay just one more time here. This is again my AVI best quality settings. This, I believe, is the absolute best picture quality that you're ever going to get out of a Roxio game capture unless somebody manages to solve that DivX problem, which I'm not foreseeing in the future. I guess they could. That's possible. I wasn't able to do it. I guess it's kind of uh, vain and cocky to assume that nobody's smarter than me. But if the Roxio game capture card was the only capture card that I have, and I think I have four of them in my house, these are the settings that I would use. I think I'm going to, yeah, this is going to get this last kill cam. This fucking bushwookie over here going prone in his bushes thinks that I can't see his bullets coming out. That's one of the silly things about Call of Duty is that everybody fires tracer rounds. In real life, you'd never see bullets coming out of bushes like that. You would just hear the noise and you know, the grass would flop over. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial.